uh, something coming up and I need to uh, run a tester on the beast. So that's what we're doing. All right, guys, so I just zipped right through that. You guys probably seen a million people trim and season a brisket, man. So I just focus on the deckle, get that nasty deckle out of there, clean up the fat cap a little bit, trim it so she's got some nice aerodynamics for smoke rolling over, her, and do my best on the silver skin on the opposite side. That's it. A little bit of my brisket rub going on, and that's all we got, man. So I'm just gonna let this sit for a second and uh, we're gonna go get beast lit. All right guys, we are at 275. Got a couple of splits of oak in there, ready to go. Put a water pan in. I have that directly, there's four racks and beast. I have the water pan right on the opposite side and I rotated it so I put hot water in it but I have the water pan sitting right over by the fire inlets as I was heating it up, you know, just to make sure that that water gets really nice and warm. Evens out because I'm about to bounce out of here as soon as I throw this thing on there. So I want to make sure that that water pan is not going to affect my temperatures at all. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, let's do this. Oh man, it smells good. It smells good and there ain't even nothing on it. Direction doesn't matter. None of that matters on this thing, so. I'm just gonna put him in there. Keep her nice and tight. Just like so. That's what we got. Got my meters in both. Point, flat. Now we let her spin, guys. My goal is to not touch it. So, I'm not gonna wrap, not gonna do anything. We are just going to let her spin. Got a water pan in there. That'll keep our moisture up. Shouldn't have to spritz. Honestly, it shouldn't have to do anything because it's constantly moving in there. It should build a nice even bark. It should retain its moisture. It should do a lot of things. So, we're gonna see how Beast handles it. Like I said, I got a thing coming up. Some people want some briskets. This is what I plan on using this thing for. So, we're doing a test run. I want to make sure uh, she does what it's supposed to do. So, all right, 275, I already toned her down. That's it, I'm just gonna let her spin. All right guys, so, change of plans. My morning and my day pushed me into a corner and I already had brisket plans. So, I called an audible and I figured, why the hell not? I'm going to do hot and fast. So before I took off, she was holding that 275. I tossed in an extra split, opened it up a little bit, brought the temp up to right around the 325 mark. I figure if anything's going to roll a hot and fast brisket nicely, it's beast here. So. We're rolling hot and fast. So now I just checked it out. It looks remarkable. So what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is, since I'm getting some curl from being hot and fast, um, I'm still throwing a ton of smoke at the thing. I'm gonna actually flip it. Don't need to rotate it because it's, it's even throughout the pit anyway. But I do wanna flip it and I want to just kind of even things out, eliminate the cooling, eliminate that kind of stuff. So we're doing a hot and fast, hot and fast brisket today. Um, I've done one once before. Uh, I honestly don't even remember what hit I did it on. Um, I think it was one of the odors, uh, if I remember correctly. I don't know. Wasn't a real big fan of it, but again, that was different. You know, it's dry air. It was, uh, you know, a pellet. 
pretty sure it was the YS1500 that I did it on. It could have been the 640. I'm not sure. I don't even know anymore. But I think there's a video for it somewhere. But anyway, I mean, it turned out good, but it wasn't, it just wasn't the same. You know what I mean? So I figured if there's anything that can pull it off, it's this guy right here. Uh, so we're going to flip it. Let me see where it's at. Um, it's coming around. So I actually got an awesome suggestion from a guy, you know, with this whole everything rotating and me waiting for it to come around is to actually correspond the racks with a mark on my chain. So that way, when that mark is at a certain point down there, I know where that rack is. And then, you know, just take a mental note of uh, which rack I put the meat on, you know? So it's actually a great idea. I am gonna do it, just a matter of time and doing it. You know what I mean? So, all right, so we're coming around. We've got a nice roll going on. I'm still rolling hard at 325. It's been pretty much rock solid. And we're just gonna flip it over. I'm gonna let it go. My point is at, it's been three hours, just short of three hours. My point is at 184, that's all gonna change. I mean, my flats is at 184, that's gonna change once everything starts really rendering in there. And uh, almost missed it. And then the point is at 140 something, so. But look at that thing, man. That is just, it is beautiful. Beautiful bark, just damn, man. Damn, damn, damn. So what I'm gonna do is I am just going to give it a flip. Just like so. Just like that. And I'm gonna let it roll that way now. Just to let everything flatten out, let everything even. Towards the end of the cook, I'm gonna, oh, I must have put it on there backwards. It should break loose though, right? Should, there she goes, all right. So, um, what my idea is, is I'm gonna run it. And then towards the end, I'm just gonna let my temp creep down a little bit and just kind of let everything mellow out. And then I'm gonna give it a good heavy rest, you know? Um, I'm gonna let that rest really let everything kind of calm down and just chill out and, and all that other good stuff in there. So, figured it, uh, it should work pretty good. I mean, it's looking fantastic right now. I mean, it is building a beautiful bark. It's taking on some fantastic color and see what happens. So, I figured, what the hell, man? Let's see what goes on here. I just want to slide it forward a little bit. Looks like I got a little bit of a weight distribution thing going on here. Not to mention we get to see it all over again, you know what I mean? Just like so. Beautiful, so. All right, guys. Let's let her spin. Keep an eye on the temp. See what happens. All right, so day got insane. So I had to rush back here. <sighs> Brisket went way over than what I was supposed to. It was way longer than I thought it was gonna be. Got home, didn't have a time to set up cameras, nothing like that. Pulled it out, wrapped it all up nice and tight, wrapped it in a towel, and it's just been resting now for close to about two and a half hours. So I'm not sure what happened. The temps got up there. I think the flat was up to like 207, 208. The point was in the twos as well. So I don't know, we're gonna see what happened. But hey, putting it out there anyway, no matter what. So let's do this. trying to retain as much moisture as I can. Like I said, I wrapped it in a towel. Well, I wrapped it in foil nice and tight. Then I wrapped it in butcher paper, wrapped it in a towel, so.
Let's see what happens. Oh boy. Moment of truth, guys. Did I ruin it? Or did the beast save it? Oh, damn. She's pretty, though, right? She even looks better than it did when I wrapped it. Damn. Look at that thing, man. Look at that thing. All right. Let me get my knife. I got to take a couple of pictures. Instagram. And then let's cut into this thing. Photo op is done. It smells awesome. It looks damn good. I just hope I didn't dry it out too much or just turn it into mincemeat, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna find out. Let's see how forgiving the beast can be on a piece of meat. When someone gets stupid busy, it's everything he's doing. All right. Here's my notch. She's got a nice jiggle to her. That means my grain goes like this. So first off, let's just cut right into this guy. I seriously can't even believe what I'm actually seeing right now. Honestly, I thought for sure this thing would just be Toast, guys. Those far ends are a little bit pulley, but come on, man. Look at that. It's actually still moist. Definitely tell, but it, it holds under its weight, so let's see what it tastes like, man. Damn. Super good. Even with that overcook, man, that's that is impressive. Now it makes me wonder if I would have done it right. What we would have made. Man, that is. So it definitely got the bend. And it does hold its weight, so we are good. And then it just, I mean, that's it, man. Damn. It is tasty. That's beautiful. All right, guys. So we're looking at a total of six hours. That's a six hour cook on a 12 pound pack of brisket. That's pretty good, man. And it's still, I would never be able to tell, even overcooking it, that um, this thing was not done low and slow, man. It's good. It's really, really good. All right, man. So. That's it. I guess we, uh, I guess the beast can uh, turn out some decent food. That's no wrap. That's nothing. So, all right, guys. That's all I got. Later.